All right, so assuming everything is turned off, you will have those three off and two, that turns it off. I see. Okay. And you have to press the little You thing. have to press the little thing okay. to turn it off properly. So to turn it on again. And why three? Not them? Uh, this one is for, this is port engine, starboard engine and everything else. And service. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you don't have to use the manual. You, you, you don't have need, those somewhere. You right? have those, but you don't need to you use them. You never use them. Okay. okay. Okay, so it's repowering the BNG. Uh -huh. uh, just while we do doing that, uh, two USBs yes. here. Um, and this is the 12 volt we use for the Iridium Go. Yes, okay. Uh, white light and red light. Yes. Up there. The fusion for the music, uh, USB key only, no USB charging. No, and unpowered. Unpowered. Yes. Very good. Uh, let's do the inverter. So, inverter has, uh, the, the control panel has three settings. That is the, the charger and the inverter off. Sorry, in the middle is everything off. Right. That is charger only. Yes. And that is inverter on, so it powers the 220 right. volt okay. plugs. Okay. Okay. Um, and then... Have you ever seen some of the uh, low battery or temperature? Um, temperature is more interesting. Uh, the uh, the warning light for, for them? Never seen temperature. Uh, have seen low battery. Okay, and overload probably. Uh, when you ch you're, ch you're charging too much? I, mm, I don't think so. We've, no. we've seen an overload signal on here, which okay. I'll, I'll talk you through in a second. But. This is like the current limit. So it's my maximum of 16 amps. Uh, is S that 16 volts for shore power. 16 volts, yeah. I see. Um, but this is, you, is, is yes. that a nub? Yes, you can adjust it. I see, I see. You've never touched it. You leave it on 16 all the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So once the system is powered up, uh, you have to touch a button. It takes 10 seconds or so from the time the button appears mm -hmm. to the time it actually does anything. <laughs> okay. uh, get rid of all of that. Uh -huh. Now you're in the main uh, Nabiop system. Right. So the top right hand has most of the controls. So if you're going sailing, the first thing you do is put in the electric instruments, electronic instruments. That enables the chart, the uh, weather gauges, the depth sounder, okay. everything else. Uh, pick your choice of lights. Yes, anchor lights, engine nav lights, okay. Yeah. And so. Um, under bridge deck lights are the white ones that we saw yes the big ones under the, the to bridge. attract the fish yes uh deck floodlight is to uh illuminate the front deck here okay which if you have to put in a reef in the middle of yes. the night is handy courtesy lights are the small oh. the, the blue ones the little flashy for yes. las vegas blue ones <laughs> and saloon indirect lights are the lighting underneath very nice the cabinets which actually is the softest yes most pleasant light but uh, they they do turn on or uh, we don't see them because it's daytime or uh, to turn them on here is the switch i see for those lights i see so this switch only controls the recessed lights yes i see and these switches here control the saloon and the cockpit and the cockpit and the lights are you can Dimmable. if you hold them down they will do yeah otherwise it looks like an operating theater right it's so bright very nice and these ones are dimmable as well everything is yes okay so that's all on the upper okay. deck yes lower deck um so when you turn the power on, it, you, the, these switches default to off. So got to go and turn them all back on again. The two gray waste tanks default to on, 
and that's uh, port cabin lights and indirect fresh water pump very important and all and the others okay you yeah. t so when you when you pattern on the instrument you basically switch everything on by hand like this yes. once and for all and, and then you never turn them off here no no it will occasionally randomly turn off a light a bug <laughs> which mm. uh you know, uh, inexplicable. While sailing, it's great. All of a sudden, you've got nothing running. No, uh, no, 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 not the vital systems. It'll be things like you'll go downstairs to turn on the lights, and the lights will oh. be off. Okay. And you come back upstairs, and it's it's, it's off. off. Maybe it was operator fat finger trouble, and I pushed the button when I wasn't looking or something. Hmm. But it certainly seems it could be, it could be a bug too. <laughs> <laughs> like it could be a bug. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Okay. Um, if uh, we'll talk through the bilges in a second, but I, I mentioned that if someone leaves a shower on and the uh, outside on the outside, the excess water of that flows into Back the into engine the... bilge, yes. Um, and so the, the, the switch on the, the switch on the bilges in the main hulls uh -huh. are float switches yes. which have been extremely reliable right the switches on those are sensors and they're not reliable which is not completely reliable mm -hmm. but you just come here and turn it off oh, oh, you turn them on and off it'll turn itself on oh okay. i see so the switch will turn itself on okay uh, so so when i say they're not reliable they're reliable at turning on <laughs> but the, not running no, no, they run. They run. They're unreliable at turning themselves off. I see. So you will hear the, the pump running, you'll see the water coming out, the water will stop, and the pump keeps running. Mm. Okay. Okay. So that's where you control these two. And that's, uh, that's, so that's, how do you get rid of the problem when somebody takes a shower? Is there is no way you can? Or, um... You, you have to turn the shower off. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, so... Is it water dripping, excess water in, in the hose itself, or uh, what's, what's no? It? I'll I'll show you okay. directly. There's a there's a uh, I'll, let, let's come to that. Okay, so then uh, your battery state. So you can see it's nine thirty in the morning. It's thirteen point five. Right, eighty nine percent. So basically, yeah. the fridge is yeah, yeah during the night. Yeah. Okay, loading 33 amps already at what yeah. at 10 a.m. Well, yeah. that's, that's, I'm very impressed with how efficient those panels are. The, the panels are great. Um, the two things to bear in mind are in January the sun's at a different angle, mm -hmm. and you get less power. Yes. And when the rainy season starts. Yes, of course. You, you you're going to get the same. Were you t uh, you had run the engines some, sometimes in uh, in January, February yes. because of that? Mm. Yes. Especially when you have a lot of people on board yes. and you're using, you know, 30 gallons of water per day. Right. Um, liquids, so water tanks, mm -hmm. again, another fresh water pump there. So if it turns itself off, you reconnect there. The fresh water pump has a trip out okay. that if it picks up an airlock or something like that, it will just stop running. That will remain green. You just turn it off, okay. turn it on again, and it and, goes. And it goes. Hmm. We'll, we'll go through that. The pump itself is very reliable. The only problems we've had are with uh, the, the filter. filter, which I described. Right. Um, I mean, just so you not particularly useful button, but uh, this is a moving average, this data yes. here. Yes. And so when you start at the, if you start the water maker and it's completely empty, mm -hmm. it takes a long time to register anything. If you turn on unfiltered values, it starts measuring I see. Uh, the real water time. In real time. Right. And so if you're sailing, it'll be naught, eight, naught, right. you know, yes. which is, is, is why it gives right. you a, a smoothed okay. number. Fuel tanks. Okay. Um, the fuel tanks are not balanced so there's no connection between them okay so if you run one engine more yeah. than the other you, mm -hmm. yeah but they i mean they are balanced because you've decided to run the engine simultaneously exactly you, yes exactly okay okay um if a fuse goes that will light up red mm -hmm. and uh one of these will light up red so these are the the fuse boxes right um 
with the location. Which with is the location, which is incredibly helpful. Yes. And it'll tell you the actual fuse. Right. So the, the fuse itself will light up. Very easy. Uh, and there's a little toolbox in the f a little tool in the fuse box to get them in and out. Mm -hmm. And the fuses are uh, in little set of drawers that you're sitting on. Right. Okay. I actually don't know what that is. Ah. Now you is this the same? What it's the it? same. Yeah, I don't. And the wind. <laughs> um, never used. Uh, this one is Advan setup, so yeah. you could have a password. You could ha log in, log out. So I'm not sure what you get when you log in. Uh, maybe you have access to more um, setup information. Measuring units, uh, UK, USA, and what is it? Probably international. I see. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very nice. <laughs> Italian language. Very useful. Yeah. For your Lombardini engine experience. <laughs> Uh, and then, if you have an alarm, it'll appear here with the description. I meant, mentioned before that when you run both engines at speed, particularly if there's any solar, uh, an alarm will overload. come up to say current overload. And uh, it's done it from the day I got the boat, and there is no current overload. It is simply a line and a code which mm -hmm. was set right. some time ago, and no one's changed. Yes, let's look at just to see here. If it shows, oh no, it's mm. only uh, the from to, oh I say, I guess you'd have to change the dates to mm. see. I don't know how long it keeps this. Uh, yeah, we're back here, mm. okay. All right. Okay. Um, to access the, main, uh, in, in fact, I should start here, because normally you would be in standby. Okay. Which is that. Right. So. Normally, when you come into a screen, the main switches will be on. Right. And all you're doing is starting it up from standby. Right. So you clear that. But uh, some useful things here. Uh, power off, I don't tend to use. Okay. Because you want to keep, um, for lithium batteries, you want a little bit of current going through. Mm -hmm. So we turn on one of the LEDs in one of the cabin just to use a tiny bit of... Oh, and what's the reason for that? Apparently lithium batteries like a tiny bit of draw. They don't okay. like to be absolutely static. I see. It was described to me as it becomes like a tide mark. Uh -huh. uh, so if you have a little bit of draw and it's emptying overnight and recharging again during the day, it preserves the life of the batteries okay. better. Do you know what the uh, life cycle is on these batteries? I don't. No. 